Greetings and salivations, everyone. I'm Krista. This is Fisher, and welcome to Sea Rad. Today we've got the second piece to the Disney 100 Funko Pop train, so stay tuned. Sea Rad. Hi, everybody. Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. We hope everyone's doing totally rad today. We previously did a review on the Walt Disney on the Train Engine Funko Pop. And when I did that review, I was like, look, he's got a little thing on him, so it looks like there's going to be other cars to add to him. And shortly after that, I did find out that there was a second car that was coming out. And we have it here now, guys. I'm so excited. It's a Mickey Steamboat Willie one. So we're going to take him out of the box, show you his details up close. We'll attach him to Walt so you can see them together. And then I've got some news about the rest of the train cars that go with this Funko Pop. So, Fisher, I'm going to have to set you to the side. Are you good with that? I'm good with that. All right, little man. Boop. We will see you in a little bit. So... Steamboat Willie Mickey Funko Pop Trains. He's super cool. Give you a little look around the box here. It's got Steamboat Willie on the back and what he looks like. Part of the Disney 100 collection. And yes, notice on the front, these are all Amazon exclusives. So really excited that the second piece is here. It actually arrived a few days early, so I, I was excited about that too. But yeah, let's get Mickey out of the box and give you an up-close look at his details. How super cute is this, guys? I love Steamboat Willie Mickey. I love the little black and white. I, I just think he's so adorable. So he's on his little steamboat. Got the little wheels on the side here. They actually do not turn or do anything. Give you a look at his front details. And his back. Super cute. I love that the little wheels on it are little buoys. But the wheels don't move, guys, which I think that's kind of disappointing. I think I said that on the train engine as well. But it's got a little hook here so he can hook up onto the Walt train. Ready guys, there it is, two cars for the Walt train, take you apart just for a second, I did notice that Walt's head moves on his, Mickey's head also moves, so you can pose it in different positions, but I like him looking to the side, because it's like everybody's waving hello as the train goes by. <laughs> so super adorable so this one is available on amazon for shipping now again an amazon exclusive cost on this pop is 15 dollars the train engine one is also still available that one with its little hidden mickey in the smokestack is 24.99 now i said i was going to talk about the other cars that are coming out well the third car is actually available on amazon now for pre-order Check it out, guys. It is Darth Vader in the TIE Fighter. How super cool is that? So, I'm not sure. I know all the Star Wars ones are bobbly heads. I'm not sure if Darth Vader's going to have a bobble head or if he's going to have a head that's turnable like the other two. But super cool we've got a darth vader star wars one coming now since this is the disney 100 collection and they have not released the final two cars yet not even a preview of them i'm gonna take a guess and say that one of them is pixar and one of them is marvel so you've got disney walt disney you've got the mickey that represents disney Darth Vader representing Star Wars, and then the only two items left to me are Pixar and Marvel. So I won't be disappointed if that's not them, but I won't be surprised if it is. It's just a matter of waiting to see what characters will be representing those two items. But rating this guy on our scale of totally bad to totally rad, he's definitely a totally rad. Walt is a beyond totally rad just because he's so stinking cool and I, I can't wait to get the rest of them to show you guys and then we'll have the whole big train together. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more awesome and totally rad things in the future, please subscribe to our channel and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say, right dudes? 
We'll see you later. Just hopping back on here for a second. As I was putting this back in the box until I have room to display it, I'm not going to display it until I have everything, I noticed in the back of this one, there's no card. In the back of the Walt Disney one, you can see there's a card like all of the Funko Pops have in them. Let's say Disney 100 on this one. You know, there's all kinds of cool backgrounds. I have no card in my Mickey box. Boo hoo! That's that's kind of interesting. So my Funko Pop's missing its card. I'm not gonna return it, but I just thought that was interesting and I wanted to share it with you. So if you got this one, let me know if you had a Disney 100 card in the back of yours. Yeah, let me know in the comments. All right, see you later, guys.